Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're filming another little McDonald's mukbang. You know the drill. I am so excited. This smells insane, like actually insane. And I was literally like, oh, I want to film something tomorrow, but I didn't really plan what I was like, oh, maybe I'll do a food vid. And the whole new McDonald's menu's come out today, so that's so fun. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I was going to do like a New Year's video, but I didn't end up doing anything like massive for New Year's, so I was sort of just like, what's the point? So <laughs> instead I did the Zaffle Hall, like New Year, New Wardrobe. And this can be New Year, New McDonald's menu. So yes. Yeah. Let's talk in. If you like the video, give it a like, subscribe. More videos like this, obviously, in 2023. How the hell is it 2023? Actually, can't believe it. But in like the completely wrong order, I'm scared this is gonna melt. So I'm thinking, let's try the McFlurries first. Okay. Right. I kind of hate eating in my car, but also love eating in my car. So, oh, no way. Right. So the two new McFlurries are Aero. Normal. <laughs> Aero, what is that? Bubbly. Chocolate. Aero chocolate and Aero peppermint. And the peppermint one, I don't know if you can see that. My bloody steering wheel's in the way. But it has green. The sauce is green. Okay, I have to go in for the green, green one first because... Sorry, what? It's like slime. That would be good for kids, to be fair. And there's a lot of toppings. There's a lot of, like, chocolate topping on it. So, let's see. Mm. Oh my god. If you're a mint chocolate chip, kind of ice cream gal, Jazz, I'm at you. This is insane. Mmm. Wow. Oh my god, the whole back of the spoon. Can you see that? The whole back of the spoon is green. It's sort of been good for Halloween. I don't know why they didn't do this on Halloween. Oh, the sauce on its own is giving toothpaste. It is giving toothpaste, I'm not gonna lie. I can't stop eating it though, which tells you something. Mmm. Or it just says I'm super hungry. I don't know. Okay. That gives a big, big props from me. Maybe I should have got, can you get these in mini? Maybe I should have got them in mini. Oh, well, my mum will eat the rest. Right. This is just like all sauce at the bottom, but that is like hefty amounts of toppings. Not going to lie. Let's see what she's giving. The sauce looks like fudgy, like almost like a chocolate ganache. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. The sauce is like chocolate intense. Interesting. The other one tastes more like Aero somehow. I think because the sauce, I reckon this sauce is obviously not Aero chocolate. So it kind of like doesn't taste exactly like a normal Aero. But because the other one's just like mint sauce, it purely just tastes like Aero mint chocolate. Whereas this is, I don't know. Mm. That bite was a bit better with more sauce actually. I don't know. I can't tell. They're both pang. I can't stop eating either of them. So, mm mm mm. Okay, I'm gonna rate what we're going. To be honest with you, I'm gonna rate chocolate 7.5 out of 10. She's okay, she's nice, but she's kind of just a McFlurry, I'm not gonna lie. And then the Aero Peppermint, she gets an 8 or like an 8.5 because it's just a bit different. I don't really like it. Mm. Mm -hmm. 8.5, where is it? Mm. Because it literally tastes purely of mint arrow. And I'm really enjoying it. I feel like after a big fat heavy McDonald's, which I'm now <laughs> about to eat, that would be nicer because it kind of like refreshes your mouth a bit more. God, I'm like gourmet tasting McDonald's. But let's see what is in this bag. And maybe let's talk some like New Year's unpopular opinions. I feel like I should look up some like 2023 unpopular opinions or like trends that are meant to be coming out in 2023. Again, new camera on the last video it kind of vote the autofocus was a bit off just realized i haven't done anything to change that so sorry if it goes in and out of focus a bit but because i'm not moving and i think it's mainly on my face it should be better this time but um yeah i'll try and figure that out for the next haul let's have a look on popular opinion 2023 has anyone been watching love island australia because oh my god this season was like insane and they didn't even do casa more kind of wish they did casa more i feel like that would have you know made it a bit better but they brought on someone from married at first sight australia like iconic they brought on obviously this year's one they brought on adam collard for uk but for australia they brought on last year's winners like they broke up this year and they brought them both back on which 
just iconic i mean i can't even so yeah that i've been loving what else have, it, have i been watching watch the teacher that was really good don't really know about the ending bit confused like is she a pedophile i don't really know but it was good and apparently kaleidoscopes is really good i've seen loads of tiktoks about how it's like the best series to come out this year i mean it is literally january the 4th but okay and it's like you can watch each episode there's like eight episodes or i don't know how many episodes there are maybe eight and they're the colors of the rainbow and then white and you're meant to watch white last D this is i mean if this is wrong don't come at me for it because i have actually have no clue but i'm pretty sure it's eight episodes but netflix gives it to everyone in like random orders so everyone is watching it in different orders but it doesn't actually matter which order you watch it in but it does but it like it can be watched in any order depending on which order you watch it in you'll get like a different perspective and probably have like a different opinion so i really want to start that it sounds really cool so i might start that tonight definitely that's the next series that i'm going to go on to okay let's start with the double mcplant because i have oh <laughs> she's dangling i have not even tried the normal mcplant yet and it's been out for god knows how long because to be honest with you why would i when i eat normal burgers but she's looking juicy like okay it smells good it just smells like mcdonald's to be honest we've got a little cedar bun we've got obviously two patties we've got lettuce tomato cheese is it vegan cheese i don't know what the is this meant to be vegan or I should probably, oh, it does say approved vegan. So I assume, should I get it up? See what's actually, what's actually in this bad boy. And also if anyone doesn't use the My McDonald's app, use it because I have like enough points now to have like a whole meal for free. You just like scan it and you get offers every day as well. So like the other day it was like a free hot drink if you got a bacon roll. So, you know, it's good, good offers. But anywho, let's see, full menu, what's new. Also, I finally caught the cold. If you can hear it, I'm really full. I'd got away with it. All my parents had it, loads of family friends had it and i've got it i finally got it so boo you but what are you gonna do about it <laughs> look how much taller that looks that's jokes bloody hell that's a lot of it is a vegan cheese alternative okay i'm scared i'm gonna have a first bite with everything in it i don't really like raw tomatoes so oh my god this is mammoth and probably i don't really like pickles either whoa a load of stuff's just falling out there mm. Mm. well why is that actually slap though i really like it can you see that i mean i'm sure probably a lot of you by now have actually tried the mcplum and it's just me who hasn't but mm. that is really good like really good if you're vegan and you haven't tried that get to mcdonald's i would order that like i would actually order that i think maybe it helps that it's a double oh <laughs> i think it helps that it's a double because you get more of meat to bread and lettuce whatever else is in that ratio i actually quite like a vegan like burger i don't know if it's like you know at uni and you have to buy really cheap stuff from aldi and like all that sort of stuff your taste buds kind of just become like accustomed to really poorly tasting stuff i don't mind a fake burger so i actually really like it i really like it i don't think it's as good as the oh is it you know i'll give the double my plant an eight they're both real good let's see what next we've got the cheesy garlic bites oh they smell nice let's see if there's like a description these bad boys cheesy garlic bites doesn't really have a description to be honest just on the ingredients list just a really long list of what's in them so that's kind of questionable but that's actually so questionable right so there's two different ways they make them it says either emmental and mozzarella cheese core or a cheese blend which is also emmental and mozzarella and other stuff so okay that kind of spooks me out have they given me the dip oh they're giving me the dip it's a good day when you get the dip you know it's a good day when you get the dip right oh my goodness right before we tuck into one of these let's see what one of these unpopular opinions were vegetables bloody hell these are all these are all awful one says friends isn't that good of a tv show that's wrong that's just honestly wrong currently watching gilmore girls and it, it gives me like happy i'm literally so near to the end i'm in the last series and i've been watching it i think for like two years <laughs> i just had a massive break but it gives me like that like you know when you're feeling a bit down or anxious or weird it's like you put that on and you just feel happy again so yeah gilmore girls is a good one for that quite small mm. wow i try it without the dip okay you know what i love the mozzarella dippers but 
I think these take the cake. Mmm. Also, you could bury me in this dip. I, I love this rich tomato dip. It's like a, like a smooth salsa and I'm just obsessed. It's sort of like a cold tomato pasta sauce, but I love cold tomato pasta, so why not put it on a cheesy garlic bite? Mmm. <laughs> I rate that so much. Yeah, what have people done that's fun recently? I'm awful with TikTok, so I'm trying to get better at it. So I've made myself start a new series. I'm going to do 100 free things to do in London. God knows how long it's going to take me to do, but I'm going into London on Friday, so I might do a few then. And who doesn't want to do a free thing? We're Brits. Everybody loves something that's free. So yeah, I've only done one so far, and it's the W1 Curate Studio in Flannels on Oxford Street. So good. Granted, yeah, it's just a small room with like, artwork being put on i don't really know how to explain it follow me on tiktok the underscore market i think it is and it is just one little room but it's so nice to just like sit there if you work near that would be good for like a little break you could bring like a pack lunch maybe i don't know if there's food loud in there and just sort of sit and watch the art like change on the screens and stuff yeah it's just really cool so yeah i'm gonna force myself to do that and just discover loads of like fun free stuff to do in london i think it's easier in summer as well because like gardens are open and these like kyoto gardens in holland park which i really recommend it's like these japanese gardens it's just free to walk around it's near like notting hill area which is obviously peng area to be around anyways that's another one that i'm gonna do when it gets like a bit warmer and you don't really want to be like trundling around some gardens with an umbrella so yeah that's definitely another one i'm gonna do soon sophie t art gallery i might do go to that on friday to show italy as well which i've already been i mean i've been to all of these already so i need to just like refilm but it's worth going again because a it's free and b it was fun Saatchi gallery always has like cool exhibitions on when they had the tiffany's exhibition on that was so cool i think i've vlogged part yeah i've vlogged part of that I'm gonna keep doing that so if you want to follow some free stuff to do in london follow my tiktok and let's try the last thing i am a wrap of the day girl if someone asks me what is my order Wrap the day meal, please, with... You, when I'm hungover, always a Diet Coke. If I'm feeling a bit more fun, maybe a caramel ice frappe. Or, like, less hungover and I want something sweet and also caffeine-y. But, yeah, usually a Diet Coke, to be honest. I don't know what day of the week this would be the wrap of the day. All of this only came to £12, so that's actually quite good for, like, all new stuff on the menu, I thought. Oh, I didn't rate those. I'm going to rate them an 8. I really like them. Barbecue bacon and chicken is Tuesday, Thursday garlic mayo chicken is monday saturday oh okay so this was wrap of the day every wednesday available until 14th of feb valentine's wonder if they're gonna have a valentine's wrap let's tuck into this bad boy oh yeah if anyone asks me my mcdonald's order it's always wrap of the day meal diet coke medium meal because you know what i just don't need the cardboardy cold chips by the time i get to the bottom of the large and a side of even mozzarella dippers or now garlic cheese garlic bites because I can say they're worth it. I had the halloumi fries when they were going about. They were paying as well. And then if I want something sweet, I'll get I'll get a cheeky McFlurry. Right now, I would get the Aero Mint McFlurry out of all of them, to be honest. Okay, she's looking classic, you know, just dry at the top. But hopefully if we get in, she looks spicy, like she's quite red. Right, let's try and dig in by getting somewhere. Hmm, right, you know what? That is not needed. Let's get rid of that. Let's go back in. I don't know what to say. Oh, the spice just kicked in. Okay. I see you there. But I don't really like it. I feel bad. I don't really know what to say, but I feel like the sauce is just a bit boring and bland. Like, I know it's meant to be spicy, so it's probably why they haven't put, like, a mayo in it. But I feel like it could have done with a mayo. Could have done a sriracha mayo with the spicy sriracha, whatever it is. Like, it doesn't look like plain sriracha. It's got, like, bits in it. Kind of looks like a sweet chilli. I guess probably that's not in the budget, is it? But this would have slapped better with a, a sriracha mayo, I think, on top. Let me give it, like, one more chance. Mm. It's just not slapping. Like the other slap, do you know? This is not... A Will Smith, Chris Rock situation. I'm giving it a six. Like, I just don't really rate that. I mean, it's nice. Like, the chicken's nice. Can't go wrong with the chicken select. Like, it's nice. But any other wrap of the day over that, for sure. <laughs> Back to my happy place. I'm going to do my car steaming up. I kind of want to eat more of this burger, but the wrap is now in the way. Yeah, we're planning our, like, holidays for the year. I am so excited. Mm. Mm-hmm. So much better. 
But yeah, anyways, we're planning our like vacations, holidays for the year, and I am so excited. Hopefully, going to Krakow in Feb. Next little holiday, actually, that I'm doing is at a spa with my mum next week. Literally, this time next week, I'll be there. So I'm so excited. Then, hopefully, skiing to see the girls that are on their ski seasons the month after, like start of March. And then I start work. Ugh. Then I'm a big girl entering the big world. So that's pretty scary but you know what i'm excited to earn a proper salary so 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 good and then other holiday that is currently planned is mykonos with the girls i'm so excited for that we're gonna do hopefully like three nights in a hotel near the town to like go out out and stuff and then do maybe four or five nights after that in like an airbnb a bit further out and be more chill and like chill by the pool and stuff so yeah i'm really excited for that oh my god also, finally, just before I leave, I'll finish this video off. I had to say something that I heard on TikTok that I'm like, is this true? It's scandalous if it is. So, Max Belegde, Max Belegde, and I don't know who, who was interviewing him, were like doing a podcast interview thing. And he said, there's one couple right now who are like really front of the media at the moment who are completely fake not actually like together he said he was like at a party uh, like an influencer thing and the, the boy came up to him something like find me a i don't know whether he said blonde, blonde or brunette or something like that find me a blonde with skinny legs or i don't know something like that and something about profanities as well about women then later on in the night he met the girl from the couple and said like, oh, your boyfriend was saying, like, such lovely stuff about you earlier. I met him earlier. He was really nice. And she was like, really? Like, confused why he would say nice stuff about her. And then he proceeds to finish that off by saying, like, yeah, if you go for a run and the paparazzi are just there, it's a bit obvious, isn't it? So I did my little stalking with searching. And I was literally searching up every couple that I knew in the public eye right now and put paparazzi photos running so i did tasha and andrew i did Gemma and luca as well because i didn't know how long ago it was that he you know on tiktok you never really tell how long how old the video is so i checked that couldn't find any of them i basically just did all the love island couples and then i realized i'd forgotten davide and i can sue type him davide and i can sue running paparazzi photos everywhere plastered everywhere recent the sun or whatever it is and yeah so rumor has it that Davide and I can sue are fake I don't know it he could have been joking she could have been joking to Max Belegde so you know that that could all be a joke but I don't think it is and I thought I started watching their like little travel series whatever because I was so bored and honestly I had to turn it off because like everything seemed staged like it didn't seem real I could be completely wrong here but yeah I, who knows, that is for you to ponder about and I'm gonna leave you with that. I'm gonna have one last bite of this to refresh my mouth after all of the heavy McDonald's that I've just had. Refreshes. So yeah, my passenger seat is a bomb site right now, so I'm gonna sort that out. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe, because I'll do more of these videos. I love eating, so I'll probably do when the next one comes out in 14th of Feb or whatever it is. And yeah, I will see you really soon with a new video. Bye!